Ya? Gremlin on the road. So we have all our bags again. And the nice taxi driver helped us with them. And so we're back to Malaga Airport, the poetry site this time. Uh, it's completely empty now in January, but they do need this capacity in high season. We flew business on the way out. We're now flying economy. This is the British Airways economy check-in. And this is Ryanair checking country. The security is swift. Yeah. Unicorn pants. Oh, unicorn pants. I thought it was a unicorn. And so we're on the air side. It's an airport built for holiday makers, so there are restaurants and shops enough. But as the nice lady let in all three of us on the back of Graham's status, we're using the airline departure lounge. Which, surprisingly to us, in terms of view, amenities and space, almost beats the senator in Frankfurt. Mostly large comfortable sofas, which I grant you might be a bit of a drawback when it's full, because you might have to pile up with some people you don't know and have no interest in knowing. I decided to show all of these animals. Okay. It sounds like something. It teaches you how to sew. Yeah. I had to make some of them so I could get it done. Okay. How do you use your fingers? All too soon it's time to go. Immigration's empty. And there we go, our Embraer 190. Fat kitty. Is it one sad kitty? Was it a good holiday? Yeah, everybody's sorry to leave. We're set to go, but at the same time we want to go quickly because we've got a connection the following morning from London City through Frankfurt to Toronto. And this is where things start to go a little bit wrong. Because as soon as they tried to stir it up, the auxiliary power unit packed it in. So it all went dark and quiet. And one of them went for a look and then the other one went for a look and then they found the company. And we're subject thinking, will they go? Please go. We don't mind if we lose both engines in flight and have to glide the rest of the way. Please don't keep us in Malaga overnight because we're going to miss our connection and it's on a different ticket. And this is the bit where delayed by about an hour and a half we are going. This is Torre Molinos and somewhere over there is Pez Espada. And we're up and away and it's time to pay a little bit of attention to the cabin and the service. We get a tasty hot meal, salad, cheese, pudding, served with a smile. In short, we get a better service on this route in economy than we ever did in business. Because it might be very difficult to drink otherwise, okay? There you go, hold well on. 
soft drinks, wine, alcohol, tea, coffee, all tasty. Emily will sit down. The seats are exactly the same, the configuration is exactly the same, you don't get a spare seat for buying a business ticket. So basically, don't bother, don't bother paying for business. Not worth it. It's 2 hours 50 but it goes by very quickly. Emily watches something on the iPod and all too soon we're descending into London City. Once again, clear night, great visibility and once again we don't get to go over Canary Wharf. Oh well, we're here, safe and sound, only about half hour behind the schedule, all good. London City Airport, the local time is now approaching 8 o'clock in the evening. Please do remain seated with your seatbelt securely fastened until the fastened seatbelt sign has been switched off. So we're just holding short at the moment. There will be a slight delay before I turn the seatbelt signs off. We need to leave one engine running just while the ground power is connected because of that little engine that's broken on the back of the aeroplane. That should take no more than a couple of minutes. We'll be parked up. You'll be on your way. Thank you so much for your patience this evening. Defending APU. Yeah. We came on that in March. <laughs> So, back on the bus, through the tiny, tiny arrival area. This is London City Airport's luggage hall in its full glory, belt 1 and belt 2. Now mind your fingers, kitty. Don't touch her. Mm, there might be some bags coming. But hey, there's at least one other maniac left in this world who's prepared to wear a Boeing these days. And so we're out, and it's Emily's first time ever on a London taxi. We're not going far because we have to be back here within like eight hours. There we are, our hotel for the night. It's a Hamptons by Hilton, but you could swear it was an Ibis or Ibis styles. The room is new and clean on the small side, but then again, we'll spoil it after you put a spot up. All the toiletries are there, conditioner, body lotion, soap, body wash, shampoo, so for one night you just need to bring your toothpaste.
and so to bed another six hours and we have to be out on our way back home so stay with us please subscribe and like and or dislike as the case may be thank you for watching and see you soon